One to Terrorshock survivors, maybe find survivors easier in the endgame, or just annoy coordinators, then let's begin. Let's start with Geisha and her ability Soul Departure. You can fly up to the second story of any building with a hole in the floor and poke your head through that hole. Once you've done that, you can throw a butterfly onto the unsuspecting survivor and give them the shock of their life. Not a Geisha player? Then, for Bloody Queen players, you can turn up the terror even more with her mirror ability. Strategically place the mirror in a wall below the intended victim and switch places with your mirror self. This will instantly teleport you to the next floor up and right next to that survivor. This trick can also be done in basement if you want to randomly appear out of nowhere, catching a decoder off guard or possibly even catching an incoming rescuer before they even realize it. Undead can also sometimes get onto the second floor story of the big boat in Lakeside Village if you position it just right. And Evil Reptilian can also get into the haunted house and terror shock a survivor in there, or possibly land on the second story part of said haunted house. Let's say you just terror shocked someone on the second floor and you want to avoid getting stunned by a forward who might just be waiting at the bottom of those stairs. Or maybe you're just staring down a survivor as they threaten to vault that window and run off into the distance after you hit them as you sadly watch them run away into the distance in your attack recovery animation. This can be solved though by just pressing and holding the blink trait button before you hit the survivor, then releasing it just as soon as you've hit them. This will blink you through that window and you'll land right next to that survivor, being able to follow up with a second hit, finally downing them. Or just completely avoiding that forward as we mentioned before as he's now on the other side of the building. I will be putting a pinned comment down below if you want some more blink tricks or maybe you just want to see some more crazy reptilian jumps to add to your arsenal. Did you know that you can actually choose where your axe boy flame spirits spawn? Yeah honestly I mean it, you can. It is really easy to. Just look in the direction you want the flames to spawn spawn, then place the tree down. Wherever you're looking, the flame will spawn. This is great honestly if you want to intercept a rescuer or cut off a kiting route, as you don't need to depend on the RNG of those flames to help you prevent that. Another thing you can do with an Axeboy tree is block a coordinator flare. Axeboy isn't the only hunter that can do this either. Hands Cross can block a flare if placed correctly. Sculptor's statues can also do it, and this does happen quite often. Feaster's tentacles will also create a solid obstacle between between you and that coordinator and even entomologist bees will block the explosion. So be careful with your assists. And of course we can't forget to mention Helember's phantom that can also block the flare gun very very consistently. On the topic of Helember he does have a few tricks of his own. The first one is that he can throw his puppet and swap places with it mid air just above a survivor. This will then count as a drop hit giving you no attack recovery at all. Meaning you can quickly swing again downing them within seconds. That is is quite a common trick though. One that is more tricky to pull off is the red puppet trick. When a survivor is anywhere between you and your red puppet, if you swing at the correct time whilst pressing the swap places ability, your hitbox will be dragged along the entire line between you and your red puppet, and you'll hit anyone who gets caught between them. It is a little hard to pull off though, but once you've seen it used, you'll want to test it out yourself. Oh, and one of his lesser known tricks is that Helumba can actually locate a survivor using his own puppet. When swapping places with one of his two puppets, your camera will actually snap in the direction of the closest survivor. Helumber isn't the only hunter that can do this either, as Photographer can also use his abilities to locate close survivors. He can use his time jump ability. Upon teleporting back to one of his previous footsteps, in the same way that Helumber's camera snaps in the direction of the closest survivor, so will Photographer's camera snap in that direction. By camera, I mean what you're looking through and not the cameras that are actually around the map. And Feaster can also use his tentacles to locate survivors by making making them attack, they will then always fall in the direction of the closest survivor. There are some really weird ways of playing Hunter. Take Photographer for example. We just mentioned his photo trick. This can be super handy when you're trying out this weird photographer strategy that I show in this video right here.